I think that in Brussels they do want to reach a deal uh, with the UK uh, over Brexit, but it has to be a deal that corresponds somehow to the, to the rules and structures and ways of operating that the EU has for its other 27 members. And the problem for uh, Mrs May, in my view, <coughs> is that what Chequers has done has, in a sense, taken, over, taken her across a sort of Rubicon. I think she's deserted her previous approach. She wants to find a new approach to the Brexit negotiation. Um, and she has crossed the Rubicon, but leaving a very, very large number of Tory MPs behind and her on the other bank. And she's got her red lines. And she says she's still got her red lines, but of course we're, we're not so sure that she has. But here's the problem. She hasn't yet found the means to arrive at her new destination now that she's on the other side of the bank. And, and unless she comes, you know, absolutely you know, clean uh, over what needs to be done, the compromises that need to be made, if as she, as she seems to want to do, to put the interests of the economy and jobs ahead of sovereignty, unless she comes clean, I don't think she will repair the enormous well, damage. So she's got to admit that actually well, we won't be taking back control, we won't be sovereign. Well, so much is obvious. Look, we are light years away from what people expected or were promised at the time of the referendum. Um, the, the whole negotiation over the last two years has been a complete uh, shambles. Not surprisingly, people are disillusioned. Uh, and that disillusionment, for many, is now turning to anger. Uh, and far from you know, reuniting the country, the divisions within the government and the cabinet, within the parties, between the parties, and in the country as a whole, uh, th those divisions are as great uh, as any. And in yeah. my view, the only way forward for Mrs May is to continue the negotiation and put the best deal that she can find to All a people... No to, or to the pe to a people's vote, because I think that um, uh, it, it, the, the only way to give legitimate uh, democratic legitimacy uh, to the final deal uh, and to it, and to get approval from the public is to put it to such uh, a, a vote. So you think she will get a deal? I, I think get it through I, Parliament I think, and still put it to the people. I, I, I think that people now want to make an informed judgment and choice between what is on offer as a result of this uh, negotiation and the benefits we already have uh, in the European uh, uh, Union. But also I think that if she promises a people's vote, it will strengthen her hand against the Brextremists in her own uh, party. She's got to turn around yeah. to the madam and say, look, what I negotiate has got to pass muster. It's got to gain the support of the British people. Mm. So untie my hands, let me negotiate properly, because you're going to face a public vote at the end of the day. And unless she can say that to them, they're going to continue but keeping her But a lot her, of people are just going to say hostage. that this is typical European wriggling. It's what they did to the Irish. You know, hold a referendum, get a result, don't like it, hold another one. Well, no, it's com completely different. We are having a negotiation. Well, why is it different? I mean, well, it's, we're, we're, it, 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 we're holding a negotiation, uh, and we have got to come up with the best possible means of, bri of, uh, of bringing about implementing the original referendum. Oh, okay. well, because that, that's, for that's, it, the, instruction, that's the it. instruction that was given to the British government. But the problem, Adam, is this that what we are seeing emerging from this negotiation is so completely different uh, from what people expected in the first place. They were told they would have the exact same trade benefits uh, as a result of leaving uh, uh, the European uh, Union. They said that magical global trade deals would appear uh, all over the world. We were told that £350 million extra for the National Health Service uh, would appear as a result of Brexit. We were told there'd be no big no, sums of money. money for the there would be service. no, but not as a result of Brexit. And we were told that there would be no large sums of money being parceled over uh, to the European Union again, and that promise has also already been broken. So people's disillusionment, I think, has sparked this shift in mm. the polls. But that's uh, and them what, giving us a bad deal. You, what you've got to do is to sell staying in something which 17.4 well, million people what, wanted what to leave. What the European Union are doing are giving us, offering us the very best deal that they can. 
which the British government yeah. has already well, rejected, yeah. Adam. I mean, let's be very... No, but what no, 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 but in reality... No, no, no. Let's be very clear about this reality. Let's be very clear. No. The European Union has said you, Britain can leave the European Union but stay within the economic structures of the European Union and, in a sense, have the best of both worlds. That has been rejected by the British government. And that's what marks them out from the opposition Labour Party, who was saying, yes, leave the European Union, but stay in a customs union and get a full participation in the single market. Now, until the and government... And accept freedom of movement of, <coughs> uh, of European people into this country. And accept that there has to be a managed, fair freedom of movement uh, of people, uh, uh, where public opinion, by the way, is much more nuanced uh, than, you know, than many leaders express. Well, that's, that's what the expressed. opinion poll suggests. Well, what, what, what the opinion polls show is very interesting. There's been another shift in opinion uh, from people who were saying, well, actually, I would prioritise staying in the single market over freedom of movement. They are more nuanced in the sense that they understand why we need uh, skilled and talented workers, uh, we want people who are going to work uh, properly, pay their taxes and be committed to uh, this country. We want students and graduates. We want seasonal well, workers. What, what people are concerned yeah. about, Adam, and this is very important, is that unskilled people are coming here and settling here without uh, uh, jobs and are potentially undercutting the terms and conditions of existing workers. It's that that we've got to guard against and take action against, and not ruling out... Can we yes, do that? Yes, we certainly can within right. the existing rules. So uh, you've been involved in many campaigns over the years, uh, rise of new Labour. In your heart of hearts, do you think this is really going to be reversed, that Britain's going to stay in the European Union? What's important for me is the principle of giving people a vote. In my view, the only way we're going to give democratic legitimacy and approval mm. to the final deal is, the, is if the people themselves uh, can sign uh, uh, off on it. Uh, that's what's got to happen, and I think that Mrs May uh, will be greatly assisted in dealing with her own party if they know that that public sanction, that backstop is in place uh, uh, at the end of the day. People have got to be able to make an informed mm choice, in other words, and judgment between the best negotiation Mrs May can produce and the benefits we have existing in our membership of the European Union. Lord Manson, thank you very much thank indeed. You.